everyone i've got a very messy desk today this is because i've already tried to make this video once and uh, i was completely out of shot so we're trying it with the camera facing the other way now so i can actually see what's on the screen and what i'm doing is starting to i'm going to start to decorate my mushroom journal so i've popped a few bits in here where i want to what I want to do and where I'm going to pop them. Um, and I thought we'd start off by doing the Magnificent Bird. The Magnificent Bird, if you don't know, is, now it's not my idea, I saw it on someone else's channel. They cut out, a, fussy cut the bird out and then they made its tail magnificent by adding long strips of paper, well, paper or whether they used fabric and they'd sewn it. Well, I'm going to do a similar thing, but my paper I'm going to draw on. You know, use pens to draw on it. So the first thing we need to do is cut out our bird. Uh, I realised when I started doing this that I really need to have a, a few making sessions to make some journaling cards, to make some, you know, little notebooks and things like that. That's what I really ought to do, but uh, I thought we'd start by using what we've got and then we can do those bits after. So what I thought was, when you open it up, it would be lovely if it could go like that, but the, the papers are going to go off the page if we do. Um, I could do it like that, but um, yeah, that, maybe that would do, do you think? And then we could put the papers like that. Or we could have it this way. I think I might do it that way. Gluing, glue the bird on like that. And then I've got all these little scraps of paper that I've been saving. So I'm just literally going to tear them off to about that length. These I'm doing two of because the different patterns on each side actually that's the same pattern as that so that's not going to work is it that one isn't but that one will and then I'm just going to so I'll glue him there then I'll glue these on here like that I've got some of the graph paper I'll cut that a bit narrower I think and I've got some just paper from the edge of the music pages That'll be great, that'll be perfect. I'll just cut it down a bit, I think. Let's, we can have a few bits of that, can't we? I'm not gonna cut it, I'm gonna tear it, I think. And then I'm gonna cut down the, and I think I might tear that in half, because it just makes it look more tail feathery, don't you think? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. There we go, and there's a few of those, so that's okay. So we've got different textures and different shapes and different... I'm going to use pens to colour on this, so that... Like gel pens or felt tips, that sort of thing. So I've got... I need about half a dozen. One, two, three... Four, five... You could use bits of embroidery thread, any thread at all. You could use bits of ribbon. You really could go to town. So let's glue the bird down first, shall we? There we are. And then we're going to glue down the tail feathers. So the idea is that we're going to give them a really fancy tail like this. So I'll glue the bits down here like this. I love this and I put it in every journal. <laughs> and it's not like I say, it's not my idea. I saw it on someone else's channel. So the next thing we need to do then is to colour in these bits, isn't it? Let's move the journal out of the way a minute. Let's colour in these bits of paper that we've got, we're going to use. So I've got a red, let's do some, and when I say colour in, I don't mean just, you know, colour it in, I mean put a pattern on it. So I'm going to do a bit of a wiggly pattern on this one, like this. And you 
if you like colours, put a few spots on there as well, I think I will. And there, so that's that one done. That one I might leave as it is. I want them all to be different colours because I want it to look I've got a purple on here. Let's just colour a few of these little spots in purple. Then we've got, I want some gold on here, definitely we need gold if we're going to be a cold tit peacock, we're going to call it. Have we got any gold in there? Oh, what was that orange? Let's try the orange. And let's do v's on this one like this so it looks a bit more feathery yeah that is more orange than gold isn't it i have got gold i'll um pull my gold out and we'll do that so we've got silver we need some like blue or green in there don't we this is blue what can we do with the blue little circles i think some of them in. There we are. See how nice they look together. I want some gold in there and I want some green. So I'll do green on this one. There we are. Don't they look pretty though? <laughs> I love it. I don't take a lot of pleasing do I? So I've got red, blue, purple, I think we need more purple in there, don't we? Where's that purple gone? If we need more purple, we do, we do. What can I do with this purple though? Let's just do some light lines, thick lines across it. That's better. You can see that's purple now, can't we? Now, and then the last thing I want is gold, isn't it? So let's. Have we used up all my paper? No, I've got this. I can use that for the gold. I think I'm going to colour this whole bit in gold. So I've got like a, these are like a brush at one end. The twin markers, deco time twin markers, and they're like a brush at one end and a, it says a fine nib at the other, but it's not very fine. So I'm just going to do the whole thing in gold. There we are. I mean, this is just what I'm doing. You don't have to do any of this. It's just an idea. <laughs> you don't have to do the same, but you could do similar, couldn't you? If you wanted to. I'm wondering what else you could do it with. Whether you could do like a butterfly or... Yeah, I'm just wondering what other kinds of, you know, thing you could do with real long, a real long tail like, like that. I think really bird is probably all we can... Uh, with isn't it so I'll put that there and then the gold I want sort of underneath the other colours but I want it to not dominate the whole tail but I want to definitely know it's there so here's the gold bit it needs to go underneath as I say the, the channel I watched did it with um they stitched onto paper or it could have been fabric they stitched on onto scrap pieces and it did look really nice and they left the strings hanging of the thread that was really nice it was it was good but i thought mm, i've got all these little strips of paper left and i did mine with paper um i did it in my first journal i'm sure i've shown you when i did the journal flick through I did show the bird in there and I love it so much I do I've done it in every journal I've made every journal I've made she says I think I've done four <laughs> so yeah this is only my fourth one but it does bring all my creative 
capabilities together and I love it. some red in here don't we so I've nearly covered that one up but it does so show just a little bit then we need a blue one and I think I've got one more left I'm just using a glue stick for this There we go. Oh, I love it, but I wish it was brighter colours. Yeah, could do with some brighter colours. Um, what I might do is get some embroidery thread and, and glue some of that on it as well. Not today, but I will do. I need to draw some little legs on this little coal tip. Don't I don't have any legs. Where's your legs gone? Here we go learned that Jay is rubbish at drawing. Breath in the curtains, that's what I can draw. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll find something with a wood grain and pop that on in there. Anyway, that'll do for now. It's my journal, I can do as I like. <laughs> what she says. So yeah, I need to, it's not bright enough, I need it brighter. Yeah, I'm gonna find something else to put on there to make it brighter, but that's for another day. Let's just put a bit of paper over that so that the glue doesn't stick to here. On here I'm going to decorate this and put some journaling cards inside, but I need to actually make the journaling cards first. On here I'm going to put this, but I love this so much that I don't want to lose any of the prettiness of it. So what I thought I would do is just pop it on there with a paper clip. I don't want to spoil that lovely, lovely, lovely thing. And then I can put something under here. What can I put under there? I've been making little bits and pieces, but I haven't got anywhere near enough stuff made. Oh, I could put it down a bit further. Actually, if I just glued that, well, I said I didn't want to glue it there, didn't I? Because it's just so pretty. I'm thinking if I just glued it on three sides, though, I'd have like that and then the envelope. Be a tuck spot and an envelope. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Right, where's my good glue? So I'm going to glue down here. Across the bottom. I'm just going to press it down with my fingers for now. And as I say, I need to make journaling cards to go in there, don't I? So that is that. So we're going to make some things to go in here and inside the envelope. This is journaling space. But I might do a bit of a ink dab on there, a bit of a
to have properly dyed them before I actually put them in. But this is the learning process, isn't it? This is what we're, we're learning. Here we are, look. It's all right, it's all right. When you're using this Distress Oxide and you're doing this, you really only need to press it on really, really lightly. It really does. And you need the tiniest little I've got some proper ink brushes coming, like makeup brushes that I'm going to use, but this is all I've got at the minute. There we are, so that's for journaling on. I don't know what I'll do. Where's that wet wipe gone? Spread it out a bit and made it not look quite so bad. Then we've got this. I've given that a fancy edge, but I could do with putting something on there, couldn't I? What can we put on there, do you think? Um, do with something behind that fancy edge. I'm thinking, I have torn some strips of fabric off and I've made some like fabric rolls I really wanted that fancy edge to show up more and I think if I stitch that onto there like oh that's the right it was the right way around I thought it was the back of the fabric if I stitch that onto there like that that's going to show up more isn't it we could do with something on here, couldn't we? Oh, I've got this door. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I love that. Maybe that can go further in the journal. I want like a big flower on there or a big flower sticker. I do have this. A stamp pad, an ink stamp. I could put that on there, couldn't I? Maybe put it on there and there. Maybe do it twice. Yeah, I think we could do that. Let's give it a go. I want it to be red though, and I don't think I've actually got red ink. I've got a bit of red ink on here, but it's not very... Um, well, there's not a lot of ink left if you on the red part of it. It's got green in it as well, so there may be a bit of green come up on there. Shall we try it? Worst comes to the worst. All we'll have to do is take the page out, isn't it? Let's give it a good press. Oh. Yeah, it's not very good, is it? I need more red. More red ink. Let's try it again. Oops. Let's try the rest of the page then. It doesn't matter. It's a junk journal. It's not meant to look like... Well, I don't know. It's not meant to look perfect, is it? Well, you can see a faint bit of roses on the background. I love that so much. I wish I could get it to just get some ink that would really, really show up on it. I mean, there's loads of ink on there. I don't know why it's not. When I washed it off, it got my things covered in ink. It's just not transferring very well, is it? Okay, let's try another colour. 
I got this pink. I love this pink, but it never really shows up very well. Although as it's going to be a background, I don't think it really matters. Let's try it. Yeah, it's showing up, isn't it? Let's give it a bit more. I really do love that stamp and that colour. Let's just do like this one flower in the corner and just sort of pop it on where we're missing bits oh, maybe that'll do I think it'll do, it'll do the idea is that I'm going to keep this journal because I'll learn from my mistakes with it and then I'll make another journal to sell. That's, that's my plan. So I'm thinking I really want to put that on there. I really love that. It's so pretty, isn't it? Let's pop that on there. I'm putting it here because I don't want to cover up that lovely red bit there. There we are. And I think I want some butterflies around there too. I'm thinking, I love that. I know it's upside down, but I really like that like that. I love this here. Though I'm regretting not putting it there. <laughs> I wish I'd put it over there now. Is it too late to peel it off? And then I'm going to have a butterfly just there. And I think that sort of ties in more with that colour, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And then maybe a word or something on there. I'm going to put that on there as well, but I am going to just... I've got stuff and fluff everywhere, do you know that? I really have. I think what I need to do is sew that red on there first, isn't it? Let's just do that quickly. Right, here we go. That there. That there. Like that. Then I want... That really shows up that pretty edge, doesn't it? I like that. Now, is that a sticker? Or is it just an acetate thing? I thought it would be a sticker, wouldn't it? Do you know, I cannot... If that's a sticker, I can't get the back off it. I'm going to have to glue it on like that. How crazy is that? I honestly thought it was a sticker. Maybe it is a sticker, maybe I'm just being daft, but I cannot. I've spent 20 minutes trying to get the back off, off of that. You anyway, I'll stick it down and it'll come off. That's probably what will happen. Now is this one a sticker? Honestly, how much of my life am I going to spend trying to find out whether things are stickers or not? Crazy, crazy I say, crazy.
Right, I think that's that page done. For now, anyway, we can always come back and add some more to it later. That's the beauty of it. I'm really pleased with that bit. And I'm pleased with that as well. That came out nicely. And that, I was thinking, oh, I've got some on there. That's the idea, it's to, to save it from going through. Now, what about on here? We need some kind of pocket or something there, do we? which is the shiner that's going to be for writing on yeah we could have a pocket on there couldn't we i might just um attach that up there with a paper clip hard paper clip i'm going to clip that in there with that These are meant to be mushroom stickers. It says retro mushroom stickers, but let's see if they actually are stickers. There we go. It's actually just like washi tape put into little rectangles, isn't it? There we are, and then we can pop some journaling cards and things in there, which I need to actually make. Oh my gosh, can you believe that that actually is a sticker? I just could not get it off for the life of me. I really couldn't. I wanted to put something there because it was a bit... You see what I mean? It was a bit bare just there. That They are actually stickers. <laughs> it took me about, honestly, 20 minutes to get that off there. Yeah. Right, let's move on to the next part. So that's going to be for writing on. I want to put something on here. I want to colour that a bit as well, I think. Whatever I put on there, I want it to be that way up. in it as well. I love this. I'm excited to use that. isn't it yeah let's have that and we could do something around here oh i know what i've got i've got some some of this i've got it in pink i like little um I like little labels it's like a washi tape a stick a washi tape sticker roll this look and I've got a pink one which I'm just going to pop just there yes happy with that and then I'm going to put some glue on here the edges, love that. <coughs> Pleased with that. Now what can we have on here? Let me show you these little, um, now they're not really snippet rolls because they're strips of fabric that I have. I took a strip of fabric off the <coughs> end of my fabric, if you like, and I stitched it like that not going to work on here is it but that is it's going to look good on a planar page isn't it so that's going to look good on a planar page no that's 
have a, a pocket or something on here. That one's too much like the background, isn't it? Let's get one that's a different colour. Or maybe we will just go with the similar colour. I prefer that to that, you know, the master board bit is a bit I do prefer that one. Let's think of something else. They're just too similar in colour, aren't they? Everything is. Needs to be different colours, doesn't it? What if we just glue that down the bottom and the side and make it into a tuck spot? Let's do that. There we go. So things can be tucked in there then. I have found some journaling cards here. Where are they? I've got some little tags. I need to finish those off though before I put them in, don't I? Yeah. Must have a, a session of making things, you know, finishing them off before I put them in the thing. Okay, so I've got my pocket in there and I'm just going to add a little page tab on here. Just like that. There's my little, well it's not little, it's a huge stapler, but we'll staple that onto there. And I think we'll call that that for today. So yeah, we've done okay. We've done one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. I'm pleased with what we've with what we've got done so far. Oh, and we mustn't forget the dick alert, must we? We mustn't forget the dick alert. There we are. Yeah, I need to do a little bit more to the dicky alert, but we'll work that out and I need to do something more on here as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.